Welcome to SDH's coverage of everything USL League One. We'll take you through the last seven days, get you ready for the next seven days here as the full season schedule. We'll take you through uh, what you need to know when it comes to Jägermeister Cup, regular season, everything thrown together into one show, and you get it here on the SDH Network. Take you through the last seven days and get you prepped for the next seven days. So that means that we go to Friday, August 16th, three matches on the board. Greenville and Richmond, a 1-1 draw at Paladin Stadium. One Knox, 4-1 winners over Chattanooga in the Volunteer Derby at Regal Soccer Stadium on the campus of the University of Tennessee at Knoxville. And at Fresno State, Lex SC with a big win on the road, 3-1 over Central Valley Fuego. That gets us to our match of the week. And for that, we go to Tormenta Stadium in Statesboro, Georgia. South Georgia Tormenta, Northern Colorado Hailstorm. Here's your highlights, courtesy of our friends, at the USL League One ESPN Plus and YouTube. We welcome you back to Tormenta Stadium where we are just about set for kickoff between South Georgia Tormenta and Northern Colorado Hailstorm. A huge six-pointer around the playoff line. Still the 4-4-2. Josh Ramos slots into the left back spot and Pedro Fonseca returns up top. Also Billy King, a former standout last season who's still looking to come up to scratch. Northern Colorado in the white with black numbers, their traditional away kits. Referee gives us the signal, and we are underway here from Tormenta Stadium. Not only as far as Jake Dengler. Steedman. Spengler, a former USF star, darting inside. Unleashes one, and Lalo Delgado's first test is not a difficult one. From there, they had to scratch and claw. It wound up being Noah Powder, 77th minute winner that did the trick, and they added insurance from the penalty spot in the closing embers, but got their work cut out for them tonight. Vivas wins this back and has space. Sebastian Vivas, Delgado passes his first proper challenge. Not dragged enough to the far post. And the league's leading clean sheet provider last season steps up. Gill adds it through to Rendon. The first foray into the final third for Northern Colorado. Either way, early corner on the way for Northern Colorado. Their first sojourn into Tormenta's penalty area. Here is the outswinger from Martinez. And only as far as Real Gill. And back to Martinez. Still loose. Comes to the edge of the area. And a flashing effort from Garcia. And who spent the last two seasons as a free agent. In swing here. Punched away by Delgado, only as far as Spengler, and comes to the edge for Walker. Delgado saw it late, but did just enough. Ian Cameron says he feels his side's numbers, and especially goal difference, indicate they should be winning about 50% of their matches. Says they haven't been up to, up to snuff there, and that needs to change. Northern Colorado, though, streaking here. Here's Gill. Horde! Would have been hoping for better contact. King. Man, and just to keep it in play, Oprah loses out though. And this is Watson. Walker. Lead into the path of Steedman. One back by Rendon. And has a gaping pitch ahead. Gill. Room to cross. Takes it himself. And Romig is down to pounce on it. Marched away into the path of Martinez, and that's where we end our first half. Well, the first half in which chances were at the utmost of premiums. He's on it now. Man who can play far upfield, or also can play as an attack-minded fullback. So dynamic, one of many returnees from last season's squad. Horde. Links with King, and this is Oprah. Decent looking cross. 
It falls for Oprah. And right into the gloves of Drew Romick. Powder had a good crack. One back by Corey. And the late challenge from Yamazaki may draw the attention of the referee. He's on a yellow, and there is the second one. Haruki Yamazaki sent off. He was on the yellow. This could draw the referee's ire. He goes for the ball, and he misses it entirely. And the 23-year-old out of Oral Roberts gets his marching orders with his second yellow. You can argue with it all you like, but it is consistent with the car. We'll get an opportunity in. Marky Hernandez, who's been a standout super sub all year for Northern Colorado, gets another opportunity to change. It's Ethan Horde bearing through on goal. A number of black shirts in the area. Goes down. And did the referee just point to the spot? There was a whistle. And a pivotal crossroads. Hernandez drives it home. Northern Colorado down a man. Up a goal. As the super sub strikes once again. A night of frustration just grew that much more infuriating for Tormenta. Marky Hernandez is four. It's kept alive. Referee says play on. Walker. Now Tunbridge. Tormenta twisting the screws. Corey drives it low and narrowly whistles beyond that far post. Killwine. There will be time for one final attack. Tunbridge. Thorn. One final cross. Floated into the heart of the area. It falls for Killwine. Darts it across. And it did cross the line. Tormenta finds the equalizer in the most unlikely of fashions. It was Fonseca who charged it goalward. And it's Tormenta who rescue a point. There is the final whistle. After falling down a man, Northern Colorado had the points in their hand. Late winner, or, so a late goal for South Georgia Tormenta and they come away with the uh, one point salvaging the draw at home against Northern Colorado Hailstorm. So let's take you through the next seven days and let you know what's going on as we get you before we get you into the standings. Friday at Regal on the 23rd, One Knox hosting Spokane Velocity. Saturday the 24th, the large schedule traditionally, and it's uh, 6 o'clock at American Legion, Charlotte Independence hosting Fuego, 7 o'clock at Toyota, Lexington SC hosting Ford Madison, 8 o'clock, Warner Park, Papel in Nebraska, Union Omaha hosting Richmond Kickers. Sunday, August 25th, it is Tormenta's weekend off at Four Rivers, Northern Colorado Hailstorm hosting Greenville Triumph at 6 o'clock Eastern time. So that gets us into the standings and lets you know where things are. Prinks Performance Standings presented by our friends at Prinks Tires. Charlotte Independence. 25 points, one point ahead of Greenville and Forward Madison. Greenville has one more win than Forward Madison. 23 points, Union Omaha and one Knox, but Union Omaha has played one less match. One Knox has caught on fire, unbeaten in their last four. They've won three of those. Then there's a gap. Northern Colorado has uh, become unbeaten in their last three in league play. 13 matches, 19 points. Spokane now 12 matches played. They really can make some room along with Union Omaha. 12 matches played for Spokane, and they have 18 points. They've hit each column once in their last three. South Georgia Tormenta right now in the last playoff spot, 17 points through 16 matches played. They've drawn their last two. Below the playoff bar, Chattanooga, who has lost three in a row in four of five. Lex SC, who has won two of their last three, unbeaten in three. Richmond Kickers, who have only uh, one point in their last four matches. And Central Valley, who has won two of three, and they are now through 13 matches and 
11 points. So as we look at Jägermeister Cup and let you know where the schedule is now that we are out of the group stage for the uh, Jägermeister Cup schedule, down the line, once again, as we go through it all, it is now on August 29th, the following weekend. Next weekend, you're in your uh, round of eight, and then you get to figure out where you go from here because it is uh, Richmond, Spokane, Ford, Madison, Union, Omaha. That gets you started on Thursday, August 29th. Then Friday, August 30, it is Charlotte at Greenville, Hailstorm at Central Valley, and then to finish up the month, it'll be Chattanooga at Toyota Stadium taking on Lex SC. So news around USL League One. We'll start with the viewing guide and get you prepped for everything there. Once again, and we'll do this with both League One and with USL Championship so you can have the whole USL picture. In Championship on Saturday, on the plus, Detroit City and FC Tulsa, Hartford Athletic in Loose City, Birmingham Legion, Pittsburgh Riverhounds. Golasso Network front end of the doubleheader. Charleston Battery in Orange County. Loudoun United, Rhode Island FC on the plus, along with Tampa Bay and the Miami FC. Colorado Springs, New Mexico United on the plus, along with Monterey Bay, El Paso. Back into the Golasso Network doubleheader, 10 Eastern, Oakland, and Memphis 901. Vegas Lights and Indy 11. Phoenix and North Carolina FC. Sacramento and San Antonio all on the plus. League One. Starting off on Friday night, Golasso Network has one Knox hosting Spokane Velocity. Saturday, Charlotte and Central Valley's on the plus, along with Lex SC Forward Madison, Union Omaha and Richmond, and on Sunday, Northern Colorado Hailstorm and Greenville Triumph. We'll go through the juice boxes and all those matchups coming up in just a little bit. News around the league, one Knox and Boyd Sports have announced a new stadium agreement where the old home of the Tennessee Smokies and the Knoxville Blue Jays. Knoxville's going to kick off season number four in a multi-use stadium for 2025. Boyd Sports announcing earlier in the week that they will play there in their home that used to be that will also be the home of the Knoxville Smokies, seating 6355, publicly owned, located in East Knoxville and Old City. According to the city of Knoxville, the total economic impact set to be $480 million over the next 30 years. 400 full-time jobs being created uh, per an independent analysis. Restaurants, re- retail, residential, public plazas. So one Knox and Boyd Sports combining for the 2025 season in the Old City Stadium, the old home of the Tennessee Smokies. Very, very cool stuff there with one Knox as they take their next steps. Westchester SC has hired Dave Carton as their first head coach. And the former Charlotte Independence assistant is going to lead the team in their inaugural season in 2025, immediately joining Westchester Soccer Club. They're going to play at the stadium at Memorial Field in Mount Vernon after his time with Charlotte. And so he's going to be hitting the ground running with Simon Baines, the sporting director of WSC, getting everything ready there next season after playing collegiately at Winthrop and holding his coaching certificates, master coach diploma from United Soccer Coaches, Started coaching at Winthrop, led the team to a regular season title and two Big South Conference championships. So uh, looking forward to seeing how things continue to evolve at Westchester Soccer Club. Also on the board, A.V. Alta's uh, FC Stadium renovations unanimously have been approved by the city council. Very cool news there as A.V. Alta continues their rollout in Lancaster, California. A new state-of-the-art video scoreboard has been unveiled at Richmond City Stadium. That's a cool addition. And... uh, you get to see how things continue to grow in each of these markets here in USL League One. By the way, you can go to USLLeagueONE.com, get caught up on all the information that you need on a weekly basis. But once again, don't forget, follow along on the rest of their social media platforms. It is Facebook, it is Instagram, and it is Twitter. So you can always keep track of everything going on in USL League One as you go every single week. Fans' choice for Save of the Week for Week 17 came down to a couple of different folks presented by our friends at Term- Terminix. Burnt Shipman from Ford Madison, T.J. Bush from Chattanooga, Ryan Shello from Richmond, Carlos Avilas from Fuego FC, and as it turned out, T.J. Bush got the win at 43% of the vote. Also on the board for 
the uh, fans' choice for goal of the week for week 17. We'll get into power rankings coming up in just a little bit. Goal of the week presented by our friends at Select. Ryan Sirikovsky from Richmond, Kempis Tequila from One Knox, Atiz Juf from Lex SC, Jose Carrera Garcia from Fuego, and the winner in a tight one, Ryan Sirikovsky at 49% of the vote. The uh, team of the week for week 17, player of the week was Kempis Tequila from uh, One Knox, presented by our friends at Konami E Football. And Coach of the Week, Darren Powell from Lex SC, as how Lex SC continues to turn things around. Austin Pack between the sticks for Charlotte Independence. Defense, Danny Fernandez and One Knox. Preston Kilwine from Tormenta. Stuart Ritchie from One Knox. Anton Sorensen from Charlotte. Carrera Garcia, Alexis Cerritos from Lex SC, along with Duf and Sebastian Velasquez from Greenville. And then your two up top, it is Tequila and Stavros Zaracostas from One Knox. Your bench, Shipman. Simon Fitch from Richmond, Jordan Skelton from One Knox, Jamie Smith from uh, Greenville, Pedro Fonseca from Tormenta, Yannick Yankum from Lex SC, along with Cameron Lancaster from Lex SC. So that is the uh, news for the team of the week for week 17. Power rankings that were set out on August the 19th for USL League One. You had a new number one presented by our friends at Pranks Tires. One Knox, remember, it's power rankings. One Knox, despite parting ways with Mark McKeever, One Knox came out and uh, get, got the 4-1 win over Chattanooga with Kempish Tequila with two goals and an assist, which means three teams have to drop. Hailstorm, Charlotte, Ford Madison. Union Omaha stays at five. Lex SC moves two up to six, which means Greenville and Richmond go down. Tormenta goes two up to nine. Spokane stays at 10, Central Valley drops to, and Chattanooga is at number 12. Now, let's get you into the juice boxes for the matchups for the weekend in USL League One. And remember the uh, the matches that are stacked, as always, on your Saturday, and that'll get you ready for everything coming up in the rest of the week. One knocks at home, a minus 128 hosting Spokane Velocity at a plus 294. The three matches on your Saturday – Charlotte, a minus 200, hosting Central Valley at a plus 434. Lex SC, a plus 200, basically, at home against Forward Madison at a plus 117. And Union Omaha, a minus 179, hosting Richmond Kickers, who are north of plus 390. Reminder, if you are in market and can catch any of these matchups and you can see what's going on in USL League One, please do. You get to see the growth of the game and some really cool markets. If you are in market and can't make it, Follow along on your social media, your local streaming device, local providers. If you're out of market and still want to follow along in that way, once again, social media, streaming services, local providers, follow along on your favorite clubs all season long. And you can come back here every single week on SDH and we'll let you know what's going on in USL League One. So for everybody here at SDH, thanks for dropping by. That is the story with this week of USL League One as we're getting close to the end of it in the month of August. Play it safe, everybody. We'll see you next time.